I think the thing that I'd want to do is that ensure that our, our aid budget um, is being spent on building, um, to use that hackneyed phrase, you know, civil society, so people are getting jobs. And also one of the things that we, need to, we do need to address is our spending that goes into uh, Palestinian TV and media, which is not balanced. And whilst I wouldn't necessarily expect them to, you know, be broadcasting, you know, I Love Israel broadcasts, but some of the TV programmes, the clips that we saw, um, were breeding hatred. Uh, and that needs to be addressed because you cannot, on the ground, build harmony between all the Palestinians and all the Israelis if one section of you know, the Palestinian public is being told that Jews have horns and tails. Uh, and that kind of indoctrination is a worry and it has to be stopped. If we can teach on both sides that you know, we have a pluralistic society, we have different opinions, but we have a right to our different opinions, mm. then we stand a better chance of building peace from the ground up. Mm. But whilst you've got an official media channel pumping out um, hatred uh, or demonising... And who's funding this um, channel? Well, uh, a lot of the official TV channels are funded through the Palestinian Authority. Wow. Uh, which will come... Which is coming from the... Um, well, if you look at today, the Norwegian government are looking at how the, where their money goes. The British government give £30 million. Pounds. 30? We, we give a total of about £90 million, uh, to the PA, of which 30 is unrestricted. So 60 is specific for projects. 30 goes to ge the general funding of the administration of the Palestinian Authority to spend as they wish. Now, we're without working, restrictions. Without restrictions. So we're, no, we're now working with Justin Greening, who's the Secretary of State, to say, hang on a minute, we need to be saying, that's fine, you know, you know we need to treat you like grown-ups, but actually we don't think it should be spent on this kind of TV programme, which is demonising um, or building anti-Semitism. You know, so there's things we can do to try and get them to support a more pluralistic approach. Would well, you know if any of these funding is, is supporting any terrorism, terrorist groups? I, I wouldn't know that. I it wouldn't. could very well be, couldn't it? Well, you know, but it, the bottom line is any foreign aid can go anywhere because you can only do so many checks. And, the, uh, and Justin Greening's team um, in the Department for International Development does a remarkable amount of checks as much as they possibly can. We're probably more rigorous than most. Um, but there are things that we can do to try and ensure that ordinary Palestinians don't get a TV diet of hatred. Mm. Um, yesterday, um, rockets were fired over from Gaza into Ashkelon. Yep. Um, some commentators say that there should be an immediate retaliation. Um, what's the British government's stance on this? Well, I'm not the British government. What's your stance on this? Well, I, mean, I can't answer for the Foreign Office. Um, I think my view is that there is a huge difference between someone who is being provocative and sometimes we just need to turn the other cheek. That's a very hard message to get across when it's your town that's being fired. But sometimes I think we do have to realise that there, are, there probably are rogue elements in Gaza uh, even, you know, more extreme elements of Hamas than the groups that we regard as extreme. And they will want to fire to try and provoke a response. Because if the Israelis then, you know, um, fire back um, or take retaliatory action, it could very quickly escalate, which is what some of the more extreme views would be wanting. So sometimes I think we have to kind of sit on our hands, mm. which is very difficult when you're under attack, but work through why is this, you know, one missile been fired? Mm. What is, what's it trying to achieve? And I think it's trying to achieve a, a response. And let's not give them the response they're looking for.